Hey everybody, so I got a new projector from Yabber. This one was sent over to me about two weeks ago or so. I've used it a few times, but what's really cool about this one is that it's rechargeable and uh, it will run up to two and a half hours for video and up to 18 hours if you use it in audio only. Uh, what The other thing that's really cool about this one is that it has JBL audio built into it. So you are going to get some pretty good sound directly from the projector. And overall, it is the best sounding projector that I have personally used. Now, when you have it on battery, it defaults to 60% of brightness power. And uh, if it's dark, it's still pretty bright. But if you want more brightness, you can go into the settings. You can turn it up, but it's going to eat the battery a little bit quicker. Uh, you can also plug it in. And if you have it plugged in, you'll have your 100%. Now, as for the speakers, it's JBL, like I mentioned. You got two 8-watt high-def speakers in here. And I will display or I'll do a couple of examples of audio here in just a moment. Over here on the side is where you're going to plug it in to charge it. Also, this does have a carry handle and you could also use this handle to prop it up into different directions that you need. This projector will work in all modes as well. Ceiling, floor, uh, desk, tripod, rear projection. You could do that as well. Also, this has a 1.25 to 1 throw ratio, so this one does not need as much distance to get a full screen. And this one will project up to 120 inches. It also has autofocus and auto keystone, which I'll show you that on the screen here in just a moment. It has a USB port, which you can use to display movies on a thumb drive, or you can use it to power like a uh, streaming stick, a fire stick, something like that. You have one HDMI with ARC, audio out. As for the connection, this does have an ethernet, plus it does have 5G and 2.4G Wi-Fi. The power button is here on the top. Also, this does have NFC here on the top. And that's one way that you can screen mirror your phone. You can use the NFC and just place your phone and connect it that way. Or you can screen mirror with just Wi-Fi. Uh, the Wi-Fi, I've been screen mirroring with that and it works okay. You do get a little bit of lag sometimes. Now, if you do use an HDMI to connect your phone, you will have a straight connection and it will work a lot better. It also does come with a remote that's pretty simple and straightforward. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a streaming stick. I will show it with the screen mirroring as well. I am going to use one of the cheapest streaming sticks that I have ever purchased. I got this a couple of days ago and it's made by On. I'm actually pretty impressed with how well it works. I only paid like $14 for this the other day. I think it was on sale. And the On stick is powered by Google TV. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the lighting dimmed here a little bit. That way we can try it out. I will show it actually before I do any kind of dimming. I will try it out on the screen and show it to you in this kind of lighting. And then I'll dim it down, show you in that lighting, and I'll show you pictures of dark as well. All right, so we got it booting up here. And you can actually see it on the screen some even with all of this light. Of course, it's not going to be that clear. So let's try and get some of this light out a little bit. And we'll look at this as the sun's out, the windows are open. Now, like I said, you can easily do airplay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Uh, screen mirroring is quite easy. You just have to turn it on. It's going to see the yabber on there and you just click on that and connect. If you click, if you put it on there, it's going to open up the NFC tag and then it will open up the app with the NFC tag and you can pick the device. All right. So once we are connected to the screen mirroring, we can go ahead and start displaying on the screen what we're doing. And I'm just going to open up a quick YouTube video just to kind of demonstrate that. Now, if you are connected with the Wi-Fi, I don't have a great signal out here. I'm outside of the house. Uh, there it goes. So we are getting connected here. It is showing. And now you can also control it straight from the projector. And even with this much light, you can actually still see what's going on on the screen. All right, so at least right now, this is as dark as I can get this space. All right, so I moved some things around to try to make it a little bit darker to see the screen just a little bit better. There's still a decent amount of light in here, but this will give you a good idea what to expect. Like if you're uh, in a room that's just like dimly lit. Now I'm going to go ahead and go out of the screen sharing. Now, before I jump into anything else, let's go ahead and show you the front screen or the home screen of this. Uh, you do have your HDMI input. You got your screen share. You got your file manager. So if you are uh, using like a USB stick, you got documents. You also can change your theme. So if you want to do your theme, you could do, well, there's a lot of different themes you actually do. So maybe you want to do astronaut or out, out of space, or maybe you prefer just some mountain scenes here. This is really pretty there. Uh, you could also go to your settings and there are a few settings that you can play with. You can do your network. I'm going to leave that alone. You know what that is. Bluetooth, you can pair up devices. As for your signal, you got your source, you got your boot source, your projection mode. 
That is what I was telling you earlier about you could do front table, rear table, front ceiling, rear ceiling, and you could go in there and set up the orientation that you need for that. Uh, you also got auto keystone, manual keystone, auto focus. And if you were to move everything, it it's gonna show up this little checkered thing on the screen. And that's going to do the automatic focus and your keystone for you. And then you can go in and you can manually adjust it if you need to. And overall, it does a really amazing job at autofocus. It's really quick. You also got your image mode. You can do color temperatures. You got your brightness setting. So if you are on the battery, you can go in here and you can put it all the way up to 100 if you want to get that full maximum brightness. Right now we are at 100. Uh, what I could do actually, just to show you, a, a, you know, just a, an example, Let's take it all the way down to the 60, which actually doesn't even really affect it a lot. So we're at 60 and still it is almost as bright as it was. So you don't even really have to worry about your brightness. I don't even mess with it. I am gonna turn it back up to 100 though. It is plugged in and I prefer it at 100. You can see a little bit more of a difference as you're turning it up. You also do have zoom. Now the zoom is going to go smaller. It's not going to go larger. Um, you can go narrow, you can zoom in or zoom out. I should say, if you want your screen a little bit smaller, you could do 50% of it. And like I said, the screen will go up or this projector will go up to 120 inches if you have the right amount of space, which I want to say is probably about 12 feet or so. Right now we are only about four feet from the screen. You can also change your scale. You got 4, 3, or 16, 9. Of course, 16, 9 is pretty much your standard these days, and most projection screens are 16, 9. You can change your sound modes. You can go in there and you can change from standard music or movie. I just leave it to the standard. And you can also change your output mode. So if you do want to use a different output mode, you want to connect it to another sound system, you can do that. And then, of course, you can change your language, your, you can do your screensaver, and you can go in and get some information about the projector, and you can upgrade it. Uh, like I already said, you got your screensaver, you do got a quiet mode, Bluetooth speaker, and then you got your user guide that's built into the projection system. Let's go ahead and go into the HDMI, that way we can use the stick. Now, as you see, we are in 1080p 60 hertz. Right now, I'm using a YouTube video to give you an idea of the picture and the brightness and how different uh, colors and everything look. But overall, this projector is really bright. All right, so we could use some trailers to get uh, an idea of the picture quality of movies. Also, I'll turn up the volume because we are not very high on the volume here. My mom grew up here. That old house in hell. Like the ghost house? Is your mom Lydia D? It gets pretty darn loud. She's a legend. The living, the dead. Can they coexist? It also does pretty decent with the darks when it's still bright out here. And those who want to know what it sounds like listening to music. Overall, this projector works great. We've also used it for outdoor movies. I'll show you an example of using it at nighttime. And with the HDMI port, you can do anything that you would with a TV, with a streaming stick, a video game system, an Xbox, PlayStation, something like that. Or you can connect a computer and have a huge projection screen for your computer. Anyway, hopefully this gives you a good idea what to expect with this projector, if it's one that you would like to use. Overall, so far, this is my favorite one out of all the projectors I have used. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.